Hi bees, how's everybody doing? Alright, so this video, which my goodness, I need to squirm around here. This video is a haul of some Too Faced products that I got. I had ordered um, some products from HSN and they had like uh, some Too Faced sales. I wanted to get the chocolate bar, however, I gotta wait till the 23rd now or something like that to get it. So, um, but I'm excited to get it because I really like Too Faced. I feel like Too Faced has become like in my top five uh, favorite high-end um, cosmetics and I really like a lot of their products. Like everything I've tried so far from them, I really enjoy a lot. So, um, but yeah, I, I did get some stuff on HSN and I couldn't help myself. There was some that I was interested in. Uh, I'm still, I'm not sure what to think of the one eye palette that I had gotten, the eyeshadow palette. I'm not sure. Uh, maybe I, I, I think I had thought that there was uh, certain colors in there and um, it wasn't, I guess it wasn't what I thought. But it's not terrible. I mean, the pigmentation is awesome. I think their eyeshadows are really great. But it's just, I guess I was thinking there was more purples in this one. And I don't know. But it's it's pretty too. I'm not saying it's not. It's just I guess I just had a little more uh, higher expectation for it. So anyway, um, one of the first things I got because I hear everybody, everybody like that I watch almost almost everybody that I watch they always talk about the uh, Sweetheart Perfect Flush Blushes. This is Too Faced. Um, the Wait, wait. Sweetheart's Perfect Flush Blush from Too Faced. And this one I got is in Peach. Is it Peach Beach? Yeah, it's in Peach Beach. Um, they have this one. There was an original one. I don't know what the name of it is unless it's just called Flushed. Um, and then the other one's something about Berry or something. Yeah, something like that. Um, I thought I would have gotten that one because I thought the colors were really pretty. Um, I still might, but I'm not sure. I'm a little on the fence. And when I saw this one and people were talking about it and then swatched it, and you know me, I love my peach colors. I thought, you know what, I'm going to get that one because that one might work better with my skin tone and with my hair and everything. And um, I mean, the something about Berry is really pretty, but this one just really caught my eye. So, of course, we just, you know, like, look at the beautiful presentation that these blushes do. I mean, it's just awesome. Um, there it says Peach Beach on the back, if you can see it. I believe these are around $30, I think, which is pretty high for a blush, but you do get a good bit. And I'm not sure what the smell is. It's a little chemical, like, inky smell like ink like marker ink I don't know but this is what it looks like peach beach and it has three separate colors there um, so you can swatch each color separately if you want to and you can swirl it all together so there's the colors separately this is more of the peach color this is more of a pinky peach maybe or pink or something and that's like highlight so um, so when you do them separately that's the colors that you get not sure how well you can see them but there they are there and then if you just whoops, swirl it all together I get this really pretty color like that. Which it does have a sheen, so it's gonna you won't need a highlight. Definitely no highlight. There it is right there. Now if you wanted to you could just use this and put it over top of maybe whatever blush that you have and kinda put it together and then you can like you could put you could maybe put it just Whoops. You can maybe put it like right up right up here somewhere so that you will get some of the, this color but also you'll get like the highlight look, you know, if you want to. Um, 
I think it's pretty cool because you got three different colors in that. I really like this one. I'm glad I did pick this one. Um, there's something about Barry. I might. I'm not sure, but I might get it. We will see. I am not 100% sure. Um, the other one seemed like it was a pretty color, too. I would, there was something about Barry seemed like it's a pretty intense color, so you would have to do a very light hand. I mean, that you'd have to do light hand, but not as much as the something about Barry. <laughs> I have to laugh at the names they come up with some of these things, but it's really pretty. I really like it. So I got that blush. Like I said, I got these on HSN. So, um, oh, I got, because I really do like it. Some people, there's some people that don't like it, some people do like it. Um, everybody's just whatever with it, you know, like uh, some some feel that it works for them and then some some don't. And I got the Better Than Sex. I have a smaller one and I knew I was going to get the bigger one because I really liked it. Um, I'm not going to take it out um, because I don't want to have too many open or anything like that. This feels like a very heavy, durable, pretty impressed with how the packaging feels. It's pretty heavy. Yeah, it's not no flimsy thing. So, um, but this is your Better Than Sex um, mascara. And I believe this guy is near around $20 to $21 or something. Um, and I, I just, I really like it. It says that it's, uh, 93% saw a based tip curl, 100% saw dramatic volume, 100% saw longer lashes, 90% saw a dramatic look with one coat. And that's with the consumer study. And I really, oh there, it shows a picture of the wand back there. It has like an hour, hourglass. I really like it. Now I think CoverGirl has a mascara that has something similar to that kind of a wand. And I had thought about getting it to see. You know, now this one has like, I think, fibers in it or something. Um, let me see. One coat of the carbon black collagen fueled formula and lashes are full, defined, and stretched to unbelievable lengths. Two coats and, and lashes are even more luscious. Curled and dramatic, three coats and achieve the most intense black. Um, Film forming polymer. So, um, but I really liked it because it came with my one kit that I got around Christmas time, and it was just like a little small one, and uh, I really liked it, and I was using it a lot, and I thought, yeah, I I want to get like it really depends for me. Um, for drug stores, it's so hard for me to really find that holy grail. Um, of course, Mally Volumizing Mascara is still my holy grail. That the, This hasn't taken that place, but this, I would say, is in conjunction or in a tie for me, because I can't make up my mind, which I like second best, Tarte's Lights Camera Flashes. There's Lights Camera Lashes, and then there's Lights Camera flashes and it's in a gold tube and that I love too so I'm not sure which one out of those two I could say is my second favorite because I really like both um, and then the Lancome I guess Lancome that one I used from there was really good so that was a toughie I don't know I have to really think on that one um, this is good as a set and I thought it would be good because it gives me three different things here which I did use one of the products, um, and it is the Perfect Lips Lip Liner, uh, Lip Insurance Smoothing Anti-Feathering Lip Primer, and then one of the uh, melted, this one's in the nude, melted nude um, lip, what are they calling these, liquid longwear lipstick. So you get all three of these, and this is on HSN, you get all three of these, um, I think it was in the $40 range, which isn't bad because this guy here, your melted lipsticks are like $21. Um, I'm pretty sure the lip liners are like around $18. Uh, this could be roughly, 
I'm not sure how much the lip insurance is, but I know this here, the melt, it definitely is like $21, and maybe maybe this is $21 also, or $20, because um, I know the eyeliner is like 18 I think. But you get all these for, or maybe it's 30 some dollars. I'll have to look and see for sure. But um, this, the lip, uh, the anti-feathering lip primer, I actually put on with this lipstick that I have on right now, which is my plum, hot plum from the Vivids, Maybelline Vivids. And um, it's, you know, like this, has a little dopa. It's a little curvy, little, little curved tip, not, you know, like, that's more like the normal kind I've always seen now. And, um, you just, you put it on your lips to help with the, you know, feathering and stuff. And it's just like any primer, but it's just for your lips. And I really liked it. I put it on and I really liked it because I felt like it, uh, I wouldn't have to worry about like if there was any dryness on my lips or anything like that. It didn't settle in any lines or anything. Um, let's try to see here. It says your full coverage insurance policy against fading, messy, and lifeless lip color lipsticks and lip glosses bond to the lip. Um, I know they have the um, eye insurance, and a lot of people talk about that, which I have a little sample of that one that came with a kit that I got not too long ago. Um, the was it the Pard, Pardon My French one or something? So I really like this. I did get to try that. That was probably the only thing I've tried so far. Um, I did swatch this, which is the Perfect Lips um, Lip Liner, which this one's in Perfect Nude. And which their packaging is so cute. I mean, like, look at the packaging there. This is too cute. And when I swatched this, I was pretty impressed because it reminded me of their eyeliner that I got with the part of my French. Uh, it just glides on like butter, just slides and glides on really nice. Um, so it, it's nice, fancy looking lip pen. And I believe these ones here, can you turn these ones up? Yeah, this, see, so these ones here, you can turn it up and it will come out, you know, like when you turn here. So there it is there. And I'm going to put it on where the primer is at, actually, the lip primer that I just put. See how it glides on so nice? Glides on so nicely. This will be great because I can use it with a lot of my lip colors that I'm going to be using that's like a natural, neutral color maybe or something. Um, which I don't have very many lip liners, so I thought that was a great way to try and have another lip liner. So, um, again, like I said, I got all this from HSN. And then I've been wanting to try their Melted. Um, I wanted to get, the colors I do really want to get is Coral and some of the pinks. I don't know about the purple. Purple's gorgeous, but on me, I don't know how well it would work. Um, but the corals, not yeah, definitely I want to get them. So, um, this one, like I said, is in the melted nude. And they come in these cute little tubing that you see. And I really like the applicator. This applicator here, it's soft. And it's so easy to come out and it glides so effortlessly. It's crazy. So, I'm going to squirt a little bit out. And you do push on the thing, but you don't need a whole lot. I mean, it really, it's crazy. Like, right there it is. I don't even know if it has a smell. I don't, don't really smell anything, so. But there it is there, very creamy, shiny, very, very nice. I like how it effortlessly just glides on, and it feels really nice. So I definitely want to get the coral and the pink one because I think I'm going to like these a lot. Um, and they're the melted. So I want to get the coral and the pink. There's like a hot pink and a light pink. I think the one pink one's called peony pink. Definitely want to get that one. So very pretty though. The liner and the lip itself in the news. So. Which neutral is a good color to have? Which, holy cow, I am like trying to rub off with my makeup wipe for the lip liner. 
that bugger. It takes a while to come off. It's still... Wow. I didn't even realize that. So you have to really scrub to get it off there. Alright. Then, here's the eyeshadow palette. This one's the Badour, 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 however you say that, eyes. So it's French, I don't know how to say, so I apologize. My French stinks. Um, Badour, Badour. Badour, Badour, I don't know. But anyway, I got this one. And I thought there was like purple colors. And here are the more uh, taupey browns and uh, um, what do I want to say? Like taupey browns and I don't know, just those kind of colors. So there it is there. Which this color might look purple, but it's not. It's more, it's of a uh, dark taupe brown color. So, but there it is there. Very pretty. I mean, the colors are very pretty. Not that they're not. I just was thinking, like, I think I thought this one, I mean, it could be a purple taupe. Maybe we could say that. But I guess I just, I thought that was like a purple color, and then I think this one or one of the other ones somewhere here, like on this side, I thought was purple. Um, so they have in the buff, which is this top one right here, um, satin sheets, which is this one in the middle here, and birthday suit on the bottom. And then over here we have fuzzy handcuffs. <laughs> Um, Sugar Walls is below it. There's Sugar Walls. Lap Dance. It's right there. Here's the cheeky devil that names all these. Um, Volvuous, Volvuous, or however you want to say that. That's right there. Uh, Garter Belt is right there. And the French tickler is right there. Okay. So he's being cheeky. So, um, here's in the buff. Just your basic, and it's a matte. Basic, like, uh, highlight eyeshadow. Um, you can put, like, below the, the brow bone and all that. Um, this one here is Satin Sheets. It's that pink, like a beautiful pink color. Um, it swatches okay. It's a little, didn't miss, it's kind of a shimmer color to it. It glides on nicely though. Um, oh, here it looks, here it looks like it has uh, the um, chrome, microchrome, or whatever they call that, duochrome. See that? That's really pretty. And that one is Satin Sheets. So it looks pink here, but really pretty. But it looks champagne here. Maybe it's pink champagne. I don't know. Uh, here's Birthday Suit. They glide on very nicely. Here's Birthday Suit. Can't see it too well, but Let's see if I put a little bit more on. It's hard to see birthday suit, but it's there, I swear. Um, okay, this is fuzzy handcuffs. There's fuzzy handcuffs. Here's sugar walls. Sugar walls. I forgot to show the other one. There's sugar walls. Right there. Lap dance. Trying to kind of very whatever. Very shimmery. So if you're someone that doesn't like a lot of shimmer, you can see them somewhat. That definitely is a taupe. The lap dance one. It's a taupe color, definitely. 
Um, so the voluminous, or voluminous, or however you want to say that one. Um, you know, see, it has a brown color. I mean, it's a purpley brown taupe or something, similar to, uh, what's that one I was showing from Makeup Geek in another video. Uh, gosh, I can't even think of it right now. There it is there. Uh, Garter Belt. Garter Belt looks more matte. I think it is. I think it's another matte. And it's pretty pigmented color. So that's Garter Belt. <laughs> and then French Tickler. There it is. It's pretty glittery. I um, haven't played with them on my eyes, so I can't tell you if there's fallout or how it looks with the glitter. But there it is there. So, there's all the colors. It's more like a... it almost reminds me of their... What is it? Their nude palette? Naked palette? Nude palette? Whatever that one is. It almost reminds me of that one, sort of. I did have that one, and then it got stolen, so, um, so maybe I won't need that one. I think if you have that, I don't think you would need this then, or if you have this, you wouldn't need the new, I, I wouldn't, I don't even know if I'd bother now, because, um, I was going to get that one, but now seeing these colors, I thought they were different, you know, a little bit, um, but to me they have neutral colors, so, um, this one could be your neutral nude um, palette if you, you know, unless you want to, you know, some people are huge, huge collectors and they'll get regardless. So, I mean, if you're that, then, you, yeah, you'll probably want to get get them all. I believe this one came out about a year ago now, or maybe two, year and a half, something like that. It's been out for a while now. So, and their eyeshadow palettes roughly are around three thirty-six dollars which isn't too bad for all the shadows that you get. And they're going to, you know, like last you a good while, so. Uh, and then last but not least, the very last thing I got, and, because like I said, I was trying to get the chocolate palette, but I have to wait now. And I got the Bajor Soleil Bronzer. Um, this is limited, limited edition. And I believe you can get it, I don't know, I think you can get it on Ulta. Definitely know you can get it on Too Faced.com. And I believe you can also get it on uh, Sephora. Those are the only places that I know of so far. Well, and then obviously HSN, because that's where I got this at, HSN. And it's like around $44 for that. And it's a really cute, oh, which their eyeshadows come in these new t tin, um, tin things now, which I really like, the tin ones, they are really nice, because um, the other one, I only have one of their older uh, casing, and it was like more like the card cardboard, you know, like a cardboard, I mean, it's still durable, but I really like this, so it's more of a tin, and um, so you open it up, and it has, uh, I'm not trying to blind you, but the mirror there, how cute is that, you know, it has the bonjour on there, and all decorated nicely done up and then um, of course then you got the you gotta I'll take that out because it might fall out but you got a cute little kabuki brush which I don't think I've ever tried any of their brushes this one's um, like the side of it it's not like big and round like like you know how some of the bottom of the <laughs> That cat's probably going to play with that, or probably. Uh, but you know how some kabuki brushes, they're round. Uh, this is more of an oval-shaped kind, and it's flat. There's the paper. I was like, wait a minute, my paper's blown away. Um, but, oh, this feels soft. Oh, that feels nice and soft. So that's... That's the indication of what their brushes are like. That's really nice. Really, really nice. So, I can already smell the chocolate bronze from here. I can smell the chocolate scent, I should say. So, of course, you get the chocolate 
bronzer, which is here. The Chocolate Soleil, is that what it's called? The Sun Bunny Natural Bronzer you get here, which is two split up to there. And then Snow Bunny Luminous Bronzer, which is here. Which I heard some use this as almost like an eyeshadow, because there's four shades there. They can use it as an eyeshadow. So, which, yeah, that does smell really good. I can really, because like I have another palette that has the bronzer, this bronzer in it. But, and you can smell it, but this one you can really smell. I can only imagine then the chocolate bar one because, you know, the eyeshadow palette because a lot of people said how that smells so much with, you know, chocolate. So I liked this because I thought I could take it along with me to have, like, some bronzers and, you know, and just I could even use these as eyeshadows if I really wanted to um, and highlight or whatever. And um, so, of course, the Chocolate Soleil is your matte bronzer, which right there. Uh, the Sun Bunny, the bottom part is more darker, but it's, it has more of a shimmer to it, just a little more sheen or shimmer. And the bottom one is a little lighter than that one, but it's also shimmer. So, there's Chocolate Soleil. That's a great bronzer. I know a lot of people do like it a lot. And then the Sun Bunny. The two shades of the Sun Bunny there. I guess you could probably mix them two together if you really wanted to. And then, um, the Snow, is it Snow Bunny? Yeah. Snow Bunny. I'm getting all the separate shades there. Alright, there. Oops, pink one I don't think I got a good, was that the pink one? What am I doing here? I think it was. Pink one don't come off too whatever, but, you know, just gives a nice, as you can see there, like, um, sheen, luminizing sheen to it, which I'll just do the whole thing together. So there it is there, it gives you a nice little sheen. So it's up to you. I mean, pretty much whatever you want to do. You know, mix them all together or do them separately. Um, you know, whichever way you want to do it. So, and like I said, it comes with a cute little kabuki brush. And I believe that is it. That is all I got now. So, yeah. And this one is um, limited edition too. So, just if anybody wants to know, this one is limited edition. And I believe it was, I think it's supposed to be around $44 or something like that. So, if you want a nice set of bronzers, that would be your way to get it. If you're a Too Faced fan, then you'll, you'll definitely need, you said to me, say need it. I guess nobody needs, but you'll want it. Put it that way. So, alright beauties, thanks so much for joining me on my Too Faced haul. Um, like I said, I got a lot of different, a lot of different products there, and a couple of them I already did try, and like Better Than Sex Mascara, I already knew I liked that really well, so I already knew I was going to go ahead and get that one. Um, but they have become like, uh, like probably in my top five, uh, favorites of high-end, uh, cosmetics. I really, really like them a lot. So, um, but thanks for joining me, and I hope to see you again in my next video. I've been filming like crazy today. I am feeling very exhausted, very hungry now. So I'll probably go and eat and relax and take it easy. So I hope everybody's been doing it well, and hopefully, I know the weather has been crazy here, so hopefully your way the weather isn't too bad. Hopefully it's a nice day. And I will see you again the next time. So thank, thank you so much, and take care. Bye-bye.